Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta. Sir Squire. <laughs> All right, guys, it is 7 o'clock in the morning. We're getting ready for the first day of the pilgrimage. It is very, very cold outside, and that's not going to be fun. Yay, 22 miles! Woo! Howdy, pilgrim. Yo! That was the worst John Wayne impersonation ever. Um, I have my scarf. Can you see what it says? Oh, it says, I love Jesus. Do you love Jesus, Cassie? Well, I am the puress. I am the highest one in the coven. Convent? Convent. Don't show my professor that. See, I am a little Just put it right over Buzzy. There is no Buzzy anymore, only Jesus. <laughs> and we'll begin. We're normally podcast and meetings, and it's going to be talking on the crucifix looking thing to cross, we'll say the Apostles' Creed. So who was Geoffrey Chaucer? Geoffrey Chaucer was a writer in the 14th century. He was mostly a poet, but he wrote a lot of other prose. The Canterbury Tales is the most famous of all his works, but there's a lot of other things that he wrote. We don't know that much about his life, but he was super influential, even Shakespeare drew a lot of inspiration from Chaucer. And we are off. <laughs> the mastiff runs ever loose. Hi, come here, see it on. No. <laughs> that thing. Are there people in there? Hello, people in there. What is it? It's a strange device. Hi, this is me home. Nobody's Greetings, noble travelers. <laughs> okay, this is a tale I heard in the East upon one of my crusades. Brethren before Wenchips. What happened? There's a, there's a carpenter, his name's, his name's John, and he lives with his beautiful wife, Named Alice. She's 18 and old. She's right. You know, all of these. Mm, but, but, uh, but. Thank you. Very neat. Thank you. Oh, we have some Do I ruin your shot? Stop, I'm ugly. So, what is Laura's home? Laura's Home is a charity in downtown Cleveland that we walked to. It is a place where survivors of domestic abuse can go to live and receive a lot of assistance, get back on their feet, uh, mostly the women and children. It is a great charity. We raised a lot of money to help them. We were selling indulgences, which was a real thing that the Catholic Church would sell, and it would help forgive and pardon your sins, and so we took real money and all the money that we raised as a class went to Laura's home. We didn't end up filming inside, just as a sign of respect, keep it pretty quiet and private, but it was a great experience. Are you recording? Appreciate my Hey, Priris, do you have $500? No. Because you're looking fine. Are you kidding me? Dragon. Dear Priris, what do you think of their gambling? It is not approved by the nuns, or at least me.
God has put us on this earth with sex organs to procreate yeah, and to feel good. pleasure, not to urinate. So present was that memory of Satan's asshole in his mind. <laughs> How are you feeling? I am hurting. Yeah. Oh no! My back hurts. We're only like six hours in. Yeah, and we're... Two... I mean, we should... We have another like... Four hours to go. Boy, babe. And then there's the daughter, Canacy. And... Dude. Like, if she was here today, like... I would be... All up on that. Like, no, she's gorgeous. She is, you don't know. <laughs> A fun adventure. Um, today it's going to be difficult, just saying. Um, but just remember, this is penitence for your many sins. There's half of us. Here's the rest of us. He has a camera too, Campadre. So, what did you think of the whole experience? It was exhausting. It was a lot of walking, probably close to 25 miles altogether. It rained the entire second day, so it was hard, especially. And it was a lot of stress knowing that you were getting graded. And it was a large part of our grade for the class. But it was also probably the most fun I've ever had at BW. It was super rewarding to go to Laura's home. And I think we all really bonded as a class. Like even now we're still really good friends. And I think we understood the material a lot better after the pilgrimage. It was, it was a lot of fun. What do you think? in my entire- What? I was gonna ask a question, you don't have to get sassy! I'm sorry, you haven't asked a question since the very first take. You're like, oh, and then I'm like, oh god, what did I do? Because all she ever does when I, she goes, oh, is to criticize me.